Ethereum, Ethereum's price has absolutely skyrocketed. Over the last couple of weeks, over the last year, Ethereum's price is up over 1,500%. At one point, it was less than $200 per coin. Now it is well above $3,300 per coin. This is absolutely massive. And actually, now we have a new cryptocurrency billionaire, the world's youngest cryptocurrency billionaire. He's He's actually um, the creator of Ethereum. He created it when he was 19 years old. He has 300 and I believe 50,000 Ethereum coins. Let's look for it. 335. 333,500 Ethereum coins worth a total of $1.029 billion. He's the world's youngest ever crypto billionaire who's made his entire fortune from crypto, 27 years old. And this is because Ethereum's price continues to beat expectations and it's continuing to skyrocket. Right now, Ethereum's price is no longer really correlated and following the price of Bitcoin. And it's starting to pull away from that. Bitcoin's price has really leveled off over the last couple of weeks. It has reached record highs of $65,000, come back down since then, and has not reached those highs. Again, Ethereum, on the other hand, it continues to break record after record after record. Some of this has to do with ETH 2.0. Um, validator rewards have gone up significantly for this. Since the launch of Ethereum 2.0 on December 1st, 2020, total daily validator rewards have increased from roughly $200,000 to $3 million per day. Minor revenues have also increased significantly, incentivizing more people to mine Ethereum. And right now, um, it has gone from $11 million in December, in a single day, to over $82 million by April. This is just in terms of minor Minor revenue, so minor revenue, validated rewards, all of this has increased significantly, either incentivizing more people to get into Ethereum or just because Ethereum's price has gone up in general as well. So I think we're well on our way for Ethereum to get to that $10,000 per coin range. I think it's going to do what is called Ethereum flipping, where Ethereum will finally surpass Bitcoin in terms of market cap. In order for it to do that, right now it's at $390 billion market cap. It's going to need to about 3x from where it is, which will be right around that $10,000 range. Currently, Bitcoin has a market cap of $1.05 trillion. Ethereum has a market cap of $390 billion. So if Bitcoin stays relatively level where it's at, in order for Ethereum to pass Bitcoin in terms of market cap and become the number one crypto out there, it's going to have to about 3x from where it currently is. I think this is very possible that it could happen this year year because Ethereum is on a roll. People are realizing the use cases for it with decentralized finance, with NFTs, with smart contracts, and they realize how much money is being processed using the Ethereum network every single day already. And more and more institutions are starting to get in on this. We're seeing institutions starting to invest through Ethereum ETFs by directly investing in Ethereum. And there's just more interest in Ethereum than there previously was. Previously, if large institutions wanted to invest in crypto, they would only look at Bitcoin, either with Grayscale Bitcoin Trust or through Coinbase or just directly in Bitcoin. But now companies are starting to see the use for Ethereum with its DeFi projects and with smart contracts and NFTs. So this is very, very exciting.